touted to be the, the smaller day, but um, I tell you what, it is pumping out there this morning. Saw some crazy waves already. Italo Ferrero lighting it up. Michelle Perez testing out that uh, broken board that got fixed. Geez, that thing looks good under his feet. Oh, that is a bit of magic. Michelle Perez, Griffin Colapinto, first quarter final for the men in about four heats from now. And the contest is officially on. 30 minutes to go for Tyler and Silvana. We've had a few matchups, but not really recently. Tyler now getting things started in the barrel at Karamas. Quick exit. Beautiful front side car fading that thing all the way around. Clean little wrap towards the inside corner. Layback hack, but she won't get credit for it. These two sections collide going different directions and it's hard to pick the right maneuver to stay on your feet. Yeah, it is. Tricky end section, super shallow. Tyler though sliding in from behind the peak. <clears throat> Beautiful tube ride. Nice little wrapping turn to follow. So a nice settler for Tyler Wright. Off to a good start. You know, Tyler's kind of been cruising, Joe. I don't really, I haven't really seen Tyler step it up. I mean, she's been surfing great, yes, but I think she's got a couple more gears left. And that's what you want to do as an athlete, to be able to come into finals day with plenty of left in the tank and still haven't really been pushed. She knows she's got plenty left. She knows she's got those big turns. She's great in the tube ride and a, a nice start there for Tyler Wright. And are really maxing out the scale on innovation and progression throughout this event, especially led by Silvana traveling through the barrel. Great line. Silvana gets spit out. Fades that wrapping cutback just to show the judges that she came out with control. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Duck dive in the inside corner. Let's see how deep she was on this one. Well, she was. She was very deep, um, you know, just racing through it. And, you know, you heard Kaipo talk about that they want those deep driving tube rides. And then a wrapping turn to finish off. So not much else on offer, but a lot of damage. Lana Lima's first ever perfect 10 came in the barrel at Honolulu Bay as a wild card. That was a long time ago and still loves the barrel just as much. Tyler's deep on this one, up and out. Back to live, Tyler pulls under the hood and just gets tangled up as she was drifting high and then low. Ends up going down priority with Silvana Lima now. And Tyler will look to recover. Once again, Ryan's slower start on the Jeep leaderboard than she's had the last two seasons in her title campaigns. Karamas, though, she seems to be extra consistent. She knows when to take off and she barely has had any wipeouts. Watching this now, Silvana up again. Out of the pit, into the sunrise, carving down on the open fade. Tyler Wright took off on a wave knowing there's no tube, so what did she do? She unleashed the biggest turn of the heat so far, and we're going to see the biggest score drop as well. Silvana Lima pulls in. You can see on the whole way, so it's not going to be a tube of consequence. A couple of nice little turns on the end, but, you know, I'm looking at sort of around the four to five point range. But Tyler right behind, I mean, the, the, the maneuver she did was absolutely superb. Savannah Lima, nice little hooking turn there, caught the first wave of the set. Tyler needs an answer. First turn, a solid tail drift off the lip. Power wrap into the pocket for the two-time world champ, and now the paddle battle begins. <laughs> Tyler with the jump start since she had the speed of her last wave, and looks like she could be able to control the back end of the seat. Now, wouldn't you like to have the crystal ball to know that the next one's better? Watch this turn from Tyler Wright. Bang, throws the tail, slides a beautiful control from Tyler and into that second big swoop. So combination of major maneuvers with that speed and power that she possesses. Look at this turn right here, throws the tail out. Look at the footwork there. You can see how she just lifted that foot up just a little bit, moved it off the sweet spot, let those fins free and then re-engaging. I mean, Perfect positioning, perfect timing, great control from Tyler Wright. And I love the footwork as well, just so slight. You know, she moved that foot maybe four or five inches off the sweet spot, which allowed her that release. And a big score is going to follow, let me tell you. Currently in the lead, though, so she's got to hang on and hope Silvana Lima doesn't get anything special here. Tyler drifts to the inside, thinking about an inside tube. Completion there for Wright. Layback hack on the open face. And just taps it shut. So that'll feel good to Tyler. Just ride a wave real quick. Get a quick vision, smaller wave there, but with a finishing move. 
but needing to build on a 6-1-7 for her total out front. Yeah. Nice little wave though, wasn't it? Beautiful positioning for Tyler. She slides in. Cute little tube. Bonus section at the end and then just really hooks into that turn. I mean, gosh, she's surfing so good. Finishes strong, so a series of beautiful turns after the fact of that tube ride and a nice little settler just to try and forget about that mistake she made. I love the drone shot. You can see how deep she is there. A little bonus section at the end and then this turn here. Whammo! Beautiful hooking turn from Tyler Wright. And, uh, well, looking to improve on her situation. It's on the clock. Decision time for Silvana. Only needs a 5-7-7 seven, seven mm -hmm. to knock out the two-time reigning world champ. Late takeoff. Wide open face. Tyler gets out of the way. Top turn to cover some ground. Grab rail cut back into the pocket. Hoping for something to bowl on the inside. It just looks like a warbly mess. She'll find one section to work with to get a snap in on the inside corner. Not an easy wave to ride. And now we're down to 90 seconds. Let's have a look. You can see the late drop. So that was a critical takeoff for, Ty for Savannah. And as she comes off the bottom, bang, through the lip there. Did she connect good enough with it? Beautiful wrapping cutback with the rail grab on it. So combination turns. That first one nice and vertical. I'm not sure how many more points this inside section is going to put onto that wave, but Let's have a look. Late drop. Comes around the section. And kind of pulled back just a little bit there, didn't she? Kind of not feeling it, Joe. The tough one for Silvana Lima. Ended up just searching for a section from out the back, even through the inside. Judge is throwing a 3.83 out there. Tyler will close this thing out into the countdown. And looking to improve on a 6.17 into the buzzer. Little tail drift out the back. And Tyler carves her way into her first semifinal of 2018 in a comeback year in a world title race led by Stephanie Gilmore.